What's up, YouTube? My name is Tuxin Garns. I'm the owner of Q and Q Junk Removal. We are a junk removal and dumpster rental company based in Ocala, Florida. We can take care of all your junk removal and dumpster rental needs. Just call us today at 352-292-2251. I want to jump right into this video real quick, real easy. When I was first starting in the dumpster rental business, um, it was kind of hard to find a video out there that really explained the easiest and fastest way to load up a full container. You know, especially when you're in front of customers and there's a lot of pressure, people are looking. You try to want to go ahead and do it quickly. And uh, so today I just want to show you how we do it. I've been doing it for a little bit. I've learned some tips and tricks. And I just want to show with you guys what I've learned. So I just want to show you my setup. I have a truck and trailer setup. We have a uh, F-350 dually. We have a Nedlin 16,000 pound roll-off trailer. And today we have a full 20 yard. Now, don't mind me. My, my containers are branded. This one's brand new. Shout out to, uh, it was Brandon with American Dumpsters, Lake City, uh, it's uh, Live Oak, Florida. I had to give that shout out. Really good equipment, especially the Netherlands trailers. If you guys are still looking at trailers, really good equipment. I'll go over a couple things today that I'm about to do, a couple tips uh, if you're choosing. But let's jump right into it. Easiest and fastest way for me to load up this trailer. If you guys have any other tips or uh, things you want to say, just put it down in the comment section. I am I learn new things every day, so I'm open to learn if you have other ways. Well, let's jump into it. All right, guys, so like I said, we got the Netherlands. We got the full 20 yard. Little tip for you guys, if you haven't bought a trailer yet and you're looking into buying one, make sure you get you one with a gas engine. It's way better. I'm just so much easier. Instead of having to worry about charging and electric and all that stuff, if you've got gas in it, she's gonna run. So let's go ahead and start her up. Comes with this nifty remote control, can't beat it. Go ahead and put her up. I actually just cut it off, hold on. All right, there we go. Now, another uh, tip, you wanna make sure, I mean, it says it all over the you know trailer. But you always want to make sure you stand clear and make sure everyone else is standing clear when you're operating this trailer. A lot of moving parts, hydraulic system, it's not going to break, but you will, right? I always make sure that my truck is clear. There's nobody in front of my truck. Little tip, easiest way for me to back up. I, I got really comfortable with these points, and I figured out every container is different. But with your container, just try to look for a point where you can line it up. You know, just easy way, so when you're backing it up, you're like, okay, this goes with this. You know what I mean? Boom. So now we got this going. Another tip, you don't want to put it all the way down. If your customers have driveways, you don't want to scrape their driveways up. So I just try to leave them some room right there. We're going to go ahead and hook it. I had already had the hook loose from the cable. Now, a lot of customers, that cable's hooked. There you go. Now, not every drop-off is going to be the same as you will quickly find out. And a lot of customers may have a perfectly good piece of concrete that you can drop it on, you know, with some wood or whatever. But a lot of times they prefer it in the grass, somewhere closer, right? So once you're dropping it, that thing's not going to roll. So a little trick that I learned picking up containers in the grass, especially when they full, when they're full and they're not going to roll, is I put my truck in neutral. Now, before you do this, Okay, you got to be smart about this. You want to be on flat ground, preferably. You definitely want to be on flat ground. Okay, you definitely have to check and use your common sense. Trucks on a hill, dumpsters on a hill, something like that. Don't put the truck in neutral. But if you got a good situation where it's flat ground and you can, put it in neutral. I actually, before I started the video, you see, I did put it in neutral. So she's already good to go. She's not going to roll. And you'll see what's about to happen now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the winch in. As you can see, the winch is starting to pull it in. Now, when it goes, if you notice that weight of the dumpster, that's gonna go down, right? Tilt down a little bit, get that off of the ground. You don't wanna scrape. You don't wanna mess up the customer's thing. And as you see, it's already started to lift it. Now, let me back up for you guys. As you can see, when I pull in the winch, Instead, it doesn't want to roll, right? Because it's in the grass. So instead of killing my cable, killing the winch, it's actually bringing the truck back to it. Okay, you got to pay attention though. Now there's a couple of tricks to this. You want to make sure you stand clear 
but you also want to make sure your things are lined up properly because when the truck is in neutral and you're pulling it back like this it's kind of easy to uh how do i say this get it off track to where it doesn't go on straight and then you kind of got to start over so just keep an eye on that and by that what i do is i make sure that point right there is going to easily slide up under that rail so let me keep going you'll see what i'm saying and if you notice it's not all the way up i'm going to tilt down a little bit more and i keep pulling like i said as you see it doesn't want to the trailer itself doesn't actually want to move so the truck is coming to it a lot easier on the winch if i can learn how to work it and from here on out you just let it do its work she's off the ground now what i do the minute she's almost off the ground i go put this bad boy in park And then we finish the job. And that's it, boys and girls. Now, the cool thing of why you want a quality trailer. Got this cool little thing. I know you guys in the junk removal industry know about struggling with tarps. I know you do. Okay? It's a, it's a thing. I did it for years. I hated it. This is worth the money. I don't know how like important it is to express that. This is worth the money. I forgot how much of an option this was when I bought this trailer. It's probably not the same price now because that was like right before COVID but do it <laughs> get the auto tarp system that is literally right there is why i'm faster than like 80 percent of the small time uh dumpster rental and junk removal guys just for the fact that i don't spit i'm not there for you know 20 minutes with a tarp i've done it i hated it Ugh. never again all right guys that was it we are done I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Now we got a, we have a lot more containers today. That's why I said you definitely want the gas-powered one because if I had an electric one, about you know three or four of these, I don't know if that battery would be able to handle it. So you definitely want to get you a gas-powered one. Once again, guys, Q and Q Junk Removal, Ocala, Florida. I know this wasn't the fastest way because I wanted to add in my tips, but once you like put it in all together without all the talking. You'll see it's a pretty quick way. That's my fastest way of loading a container. Have a good one, guys. Happy junking.